The universe could have been hibernating before something set it in motion. It may have collided with another universe. Or perhaps, it's a part of an eternal cycle of cosmic bursts and rebounds. Why was the early universe invisible? How does energy define time? And why is 97% of the observable universe forever out of our reach? Could all this lead to another Big Bang? Trying to understand the universe's origins, scientists use telescopes aimed at the furthest reaches of the cosmos. When these telescopes detect light from faraway galaxies, they're essentially capturing light that began its voyage countless eons ago. This is because light requires time to traverse space. And since the universe has been expanding from its birth, the journey of that light has also been stretched out. The limit to how far back in time we can see is determined by the distance light has been able to travel since the universe started expanding. The very first photons could move freely, constantly being scattered off free electrons, which made the early universe opaque. When everything cooled about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, these primordial photons were set free and continued their journey in the direction they were moving at that moment. Over their long journey up until now, this light's wavelength has stretched so much that it has shifted from the visible spectrum to the microwave range, something researchers discovered when they detected what is called the cosmic microwave background radiation. Everything before this period of time is out of our observational reach. So scientists rely on projections to understand what might have occurred during the earlier stages of the universe. The most distant objects in the universe are also the most ancient. When we look at the Andromeda galaxy, we're seeing it as it was 2.5 million years ago. Reflection of sunlight off of Jupiter takes 30 minutes to reach us, and even more nearby objects don't show up exactly as they are right now. The earliest light scientists have detected is from when the universe was just about a few hundred thousand years old. This early light helped us discover the Big Bang. But what caused it in the first place? As time goes by, the overall entropy of the universe increases. Put simply, the energy spreads out and becomes less usable. Stars go supernova. Black holes slowly evaporate. Hot things cool down. And even cold things heat up. Entropy dictates how we define time. Generally, what we refer to as the future is just a state of higher entropy or more spread out energy and a state characterized by lower entropy is what we call the past. So the further back in time we look, the lower the entropy should be. We don't know why this is happening, but it's something pre-bang hypotheses revolve around. Some physicists propose that the universe before the Big Bang was hibernating. According to the idea, it remained compact and still throughout an everlasting past. Then, at a particular moment, a trigger initiated a change. This pre-bang universe is thought to have been metastable, only appearing stable, while being inherently delicate. In the scientific community, this state is also known as a false vacuum. To understand the concept, picture a landscape with a valley nestled between towering mountains. People within the valley might believe it's the most stable point. Yet beyond the mountains lies a sheer drop to the sea, the true vacuum or an ultimate state of minimal energy. Similarly, the young universe could have existed in a state of false vacuum until a catalyst triggered a transition into a truly stable state. So what was it that set the universe in motion? In the world of quantum mechanics, there's a lot of uncertainty in the way particles act. If the pre-bang universe was governed by the laws of quantum field theory, anything could have happened. Imagine an underground river running beneath the valley, slowly carrying away tiny pebbles into the sea. This continuous flow gradually weakens the valley's foundation until a critical point is reached, and the valley caves in, and boom! This is how we believe the universe instantly expanded into what it is by the Big Bang. For a long time, the idea of a singular point containing all matter and energy was accepted. Today, modern physics suggests there was no such thing as singularity. Instead, the phenomenon responsible for our universe's origin is cosmic inflation. It all started as a cold and empty space a hundred billion the size of a proton. Yet it was brimming with so much energy, the pressures within produced a repulsive gravitational force. This force triggered an astounding expansion, where the universe doubled in size over 80 times, before resulting in fiery Big Bang. Think of a bomb that's about to go off. First, the explosive material starts to break down, creating hot gases and releasing energy. As gases accumulate and spread out, they push against the walls of the bomb, creating pressure. Only then does the detonation take place. Similarly, all the energy used to fuel the universe's inflation was released into space in a bang. 
heating it, and producing different particles. At that point, the universe has expanded to almost an octillion times its original size. Once focused and tightly packed energy became spread out throughout vast distances. However, entropy can also be interpreted as the tendency for all things to transition from a less likely state of order to a more possible state of chaos. But how can a seemingly organized universe, we observe today, one filled with all the galaxy clusters and star systems, be more of a mess than the early soup of extremely hot particles? Imagine the Big Bang as a party popper. As you pull the string, it bursts into a dazzling display of confetti. We'd expect the confetti to scatter chaotically in all directions, forming a random assortment of colorful pieces. Yet what we see is the confetti organizing itself into perfectly shaped numbers and geometric objects. Circles, squares, triangles, which represent subatomic particles, atoms, and molecules. And not just that, the universe appears to be uniform in all directions. Across its vast expanse, the universe has mysteriously consistent temperatures. Regardless of the direction researchers study, they measure a temperature of around 2.7 degrees Kelvin throughout the cosmos. This is something that shouldn't happen, and here's why. Even though the age of the universe is an estimated 13.8 billion years, its observable expanse is much larger. Today, we can peer as far as 46 billion light years away from Earth in any direction. Together, this makes the diameter of the observable horizon 92 billion light years. This is because space itself expands quicker than light. But particles that carry information, like photons, are limited to the speed of light. And so, how could two points in space, that are separated by more than 14 billion years, have the same average temperature if these distant regions of space haven't had enough time to exchange information yet? This is known as the horizon problem. Another puzzle is the flatness problem. Einstein's theory of relativity reveals that massive objects curve space-time, influencing the motion of matter within it. Locally, stars, galaxies, and black holes cause irregularities in this space-time fabric. But when observed on a larger scale, these irregularities average out, resulting in a smoother structure. This overall uniformity suggests that the universe is flat on a grand scale. So how could something like this happen? There's an idea that cosmic inflation never comes to a full stop. Instead, there's a high entropy mother universe, which continues to expand forever, only coming to a halt at specific regions. Wherever it does stop, new low entropy universes form isolated from one another. It's possible that these pocket universes are being created all the time in an endless sequence. The Big Bang fits well into this theory, but it doesn't mark the beginning of the universe as a whole. Only a tiny part of it as a result of quantum fluctuations happening on a much, much grander scale. What are your thoughts about this? Tell us in the comments. To stay updated, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. Don't forget to like and share the video. See you soon with such informative videos. Till then, thank you for watching this video. Until the end.